Well, I'm back at the camp. 20th of August, 2023. Uh, we're all up at eight o'clock in the morning. Take a quick check around the camp. See if there's no critters around, or any mice or anything like that. I've been lucky, I have not seen any so far this year. Nice day up here in Maine. As I said, I just got up here. I'm going to open up some windows. Everything seems to be okay. To my channel, Laurier sixty five. Up here for the day. I'm just checking up on the camp. I haven't been up here in about a month. The other cell cam to set up. I'm gonna cut the grass. Uh, I'm not gonna to spend too much time up here today. I, like I said, I'm just up here taking a quick look. I haven't been up here in a month just to take a quick look at the situation up here, whether everything's okay or not. See, everything seems to be fine. I don't see any more any more erosion. Just very very little bit here. Not too bad. Grass needs to be cut though. I'll try to cut that today. Check up on a few other things. See how see how everything's doing. I'll check up on my uh, blueberry little blueberry bushes. We'll see how those are doing. And we'll maybe find a couple of those small little projects to do. We'll see. You can hear the birds. So anyways, let me get settled in and I'll be back in a bit. Seems like the mosquitoes have subsided a little bit. They're not as bad as they were. They're still here, but not as bad as they were. So I'm kind of grateful for that. Okay, I will be back in a bit. First things first, let's see if there's any birds left in there. Well, there's no birds left in there, so I'm gonna probably take that nest down. It'll definitely come down today and I'll clean up. Oh my goodness, he pooped everywhere. I will right, we'll have to definitely clean that up. Oh God, they made a mess. All right, whatever. Well, they are birds. Okay. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is open up the shed. Maybe, yeah, I gotta cut the grass. I gotta put my, go inside and put my boots on because the shoes that I'm wearing have some holes in them. And they're kind of coming apart, so I'd get, my feet would get soaking wet. So what I'm gonna do is go inside and change into my boots, unlock the shed, check the old blueberry plants, see how they're doing. I can barely see him from here, but I can see the one down there. So let me do that. And we'll see what else I have to do around here. Screw around. Let me take the radio that I got, that I brought up here and put it on here. Listen to a little bit of music. All right, I'll be back.
they're gone now. gone. I need something a little bit stronger than glass clean to get that crud off. They did a good job of making a mess, that's for damn sure. Wow. Oh, that's pretty bad. Sort of a lot of cleaning over here to do. Stuff off the Even with the Mr. Clean Eraser. 
Someone ought to get out. Stop us on there. This door can be painted. No wonder. I'd love to paint this white door because it gets so dirty. I wouldn't mind painting it black or maybe a dark green. I don't know. It probably could. This stuff. Figured Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean Eraser would get a lot. We got most of the stuff off, but there's some stuff that won't come off. Wow. Yeah, that's stubborn. the best that I'm gonna get. Got most of it off. There's still some stains on there. Let's try to get the poop off the deck next. Find a brush or something. Get the main glass pretty clean. Get out of the way. Alright, so there's there's the door. Ah uh, I think I'm gonna screw around a little bit more. I won't record any more of this. It's kind of boring. I'm just basically cleaning up the porch. And I'll probably cut this side either with the mower or with the riding mower, we'll see. Then I'll cut up, I'll do some cutting up there and some trimming. Did have a chance to, I'm not done with it yet, but I'll show you real quick. Trimmed all along the birch trees because I ran, I ran out of get, I ran out of fuel on the uh, trimmer. I'll put, do some more later and rake it up. I think I'll cut some more of the ferns. I cut, I cut some because the mosquitoes are really not here anymore. I don't really see many of them. Few of them, not, not a lot. I'll probably continue cutting. So, yeah, looks pretty good. I think I can do a lot of that. I can think I can do a lot of that after I'm done with the main grass. I cut just about everything out here. Looks pretty good. Not bad. Work a little bit more out in the yard here. See what I can do over by that septic tank. Maybe I'll trim some of that down when I have to. But I'm gonna take a quick, quick break and then do some more. So there's a lot more to do around here, a lot more trimming, a lot more pulling our weeds along the uh, house and stuff like that. I want my gloves on for that in case it's poison ivy. I don't think it is, but just in case. So the old, cu the old cub cadet, she's working today. I'm still getting bit a little bit, but not as bad as they were. And I gotta figure out something here with these. These are These are, I put these bricks here to remind me because I don't want to step in, step into it, step into the big, big holes there and twist my ankle and get hurt. So that's why I got, the, that's why I got the bricks there. Find some type of fill to put in there, something, 
And this is the big one up here. This is the real big one. I put a little stake here. That thing's huge. So I've got to find something. I got to find some type of dirt or fill to put that in, put that in there. So much. I'm gonna take one of my uh, subscribers' advice and not rake up the uh, dead grass. <laughs> he told me just leave it. It'll it'll strengthen the lawn and grow it in greener and it'll it'll be better. So I'm gonna take the advice and not rake it up. I'll have to look back to see who told me that. But anyways, thank you in advance. And over here, I gotta do something over here. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit if I time permitting. But we'll see what happens. I would like to, um, oh, what a mess. I wanna try putting that door on again. I wanna try taking another shot. You know what they say, third time's a charm. So I tried once, couldn't do it twice because there were so many bugs. Maybe if I have time, maybe I'll screw around with it. I would love to get that door on. I really would. I would have liked to get the sides on, but that may not happen. I got a lot of touch up on that porch to do. I really do. It may not look it when I'm recording it here, but I've got a lot of touch up. I took the little angel off. I'm going to clean it up. It's all dirty. But, and for this, I have no idea. I gotta see what I can do with this. I'll probably extend the bricks out and fix that eventually when I have more time. Yeah, story of my life, more time. And maybe get some more crushed stone. Go along here. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what I can do here. I gotta dress it up a little bit because it kinda looks, kinda looks like crap. But anyways, enough of me talking. I hope it doesn't rain. It's starting to cloud up up here. But it's still nice. It's very nice. Um, let me get back to my work. Maybe I'll record a little bit of the grass cutting. I know it's something you guys don't want to see in exploring, but maybe just a tiny bit of it. That's all.
All right, for now, we'll see how that works. I got two stones I had, I had over by the shed. Brought them over to here. And I put the uh, fire pit on there. Still have not used it yet. I cleared a little bit more with the uh, trimmer around that long weed here. I'm going to have to get that out of there with a... Should have a, something to cut it with. I couldn't pull it out. I couldn't cut it either. But I think this is as far as I'm going to go right now with it. I may or may not rake it up just to clean up the area a little bit. We'll see. But I basically cleaned out on the trees and rocks. Yeah. Let's see, maybe this fall when it gets a little cooler, maybe I'll cut this clump of trees right, right here. Cut that out of there, I think. It's a big clump. Clean it up a little bit. But it was, wasn't bad to clean up once I... I couldn't do that with the mosquitoes. I tried so hard, they were just swarming me to death. But I cut it today with the brush trimmer, and I went over it with the lawnmower. So it's pretty clear. So I at one point would like to cut some wood and actually try it. I keep saying that. I always say I'm gonna cut wood and I never do it. Well, I get, I get caught up with other projects. I'll show you what else I did. So, well, before I get to that. So yeah, that's done. I think that's good for now. I don't know what future plans will I put rock against uh, around it, do some type of border. We'll see what happens. For now, that's good. I just I would like to test it actually, but I need to I need to cut some wood. The wood I got is too big for that. Uh, something I do regret doing. I should not have done it. Was I put holes? In the bottom of the tray where the ashes go and i only did that for one reason so when water collects in there when water when water collects in there there you go when water collects in there it'll drain through it instead of rotting the tray out okay i'll show you something else now small little project that i did nothing big i moved the little Light Angel, Solar Light Angel to the well. Thought I'd just mount it on top of there. It'll be a lot, I think a lot, a lot cleaner up here. It was getting really dirty in the grass when I was cutting it and stuff. So that's there for now. I think it looks pretty good. I twist, I plastic tied it, put plastic ties on it. This wood has got to get cut up. Let's see what happens. This needs to be cut. I don't think I got an axe big enough. Got a small hand axe. That's all I got, and I got chainsaw. I don't know. I was thinking about maybe bringing some bit home. I just don't have the damn time to sit here and cut it. You know, I got to check to see what time it is. I would say it's about noon time. I don't know how much long I'm going to stay up here for. Beautiful day up here, though. Gorgeous. I managed to cut the grass on the side here. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the hand mower out and do the rest of it. I may, I may not. We'll see. I'm getting a little lazy and tired. Hypothetically, I should get the blower out and just blow the dead grass off of there. But did a few things around here. Cut the grass. Looked pretty good. I may, I may not go over to the septic septic tank and just start trimming around there a little bit i'll probably do that and that might be the last thing i do we'll see i wanted to put the damn door on i wanted to cut wood i just don't know if i have enough time cut behind here lifted up the the cart i got to let all the water out had quite a bit of water in there it's probably where all the mosquito lobby was still coming from but this is something I'd like to clean up here. These are tough, tough weeds. Very tough. So, I mean, I'm probably gonna get, probably gonna, I wanna trim up around here. I wanna make it a little bit neater. I got so much wood to cut over there, it's not even funny. And this piece of shit, this thing is just is not running. I know the belt broke, and I'm not sure if I know how to do it. 
at one point, I'm either going to have the guy down the road fix it or I'm going to have to bring it home and either try to fix it or have somebody fix it. But I wouldn't, I'm going to check the time out here. I would really love to see if I could put that door on somehow. It'd be a nice little project. Blueberry, blueberry plants. I don't know. Not, not doing very, not doing very good. Here's one lonely blueberry here. I threw it away. Very sour. I don't know. I don't know what to think of these things. They don't look, they don't look very healthy. I don't know why. Tons of weeds. Weeds everywhere. Weeds, weeds, weeds. But yeah, still gonna be very careful mowing. Still a lot of boulders in this. Have not changed the blade yet, only because of that reason. So, surprisingly enough, the mower ran pretty good today, knock on wood. So, anyways, I took the little bird bath out of here. It was a waste. We were just collecting Japanese beetles. It was all disgusting, so I may, I may, not, I might bring it. I may end up bringing that home. Probably get more use of it at home. Put the other chime up there. So, all right. Let me clean up a little bit here. I'm gonna put the little dolly cart away. Probably put the gloves on. Start trimming over there. Probably won't record that because it's you know boring. And oh, it's already 12.30, almost 12.20, according to the clock. So, we'll see. I'm not in a super hurry to get out of here, but yet again, I don't want to get, I don't want to I don't want to go home around 7, 8 o'clock at night either. So, let me, let me sit down for a couple of minutes and gather my thoughts and see what's happening. On a brighter note, I got the other camera installed. The other cell cam that I got working at home, I have it mounted up, up, up the road there, up on the driveway. So now I got now I got two working cell cams, one pointed into the house, and one pointed into the driveway. Whoever comes down. So got this little radio the other day. Somebody at work was throwing it out. Nothing wrong with it. So I figured it would be the perfect. Perfect little radio for outside to listen to music. The Casco Bay Bridge in South Portland sells more new cars than any other Ford dealer in Maine for one reason. Transparency. When Yankee Ford says the only deal we can't beat is the deal we can't see, it's true. Yankee Ford has the inventory okay. and the vehicles you've been looking for. And thanks to real transparency, you know you're getting the best deal possible. Yankee Ford continues to be the number one Ford dealer in the state of Maine for six years running. Con
And there you go. Fire pit area, all ready for the fall. Just gotta cut some wood now. Not today though. Um, yeah, I brought the little riding mower over here with the riding mower over here with the cart. Raked up all that loose ferns and just junk that was around here. I've got it over there for now. I don't feel like dumping it. Maybe next time I come up here. But it's nice and clean. Nice clear area. Take a nice little look. This is good. Get a couple chairs out here. Have a fire going. Been saying this for the last two years. I think this fall I will be able to get a chance to use that thing. I used it. I used it at home. I used one at home. I have one at home. Not like this one. It's a different. But I've used it at home. Fire pit. But anyways, this is. This is about as far as I'm gonna cut in, I think, with the ferns. I don't think any farther. This is, it's good enough. It's fine. Clean it up a bit. Maybe that birch over there, that's straight ahead of me. I might trim around that next time. Just kind of ran out of gas, I'm tired. Cut just about all the grass, did some trimming. Yeah, it looks pretty good, it looks good. About a month, about a month's worth of, uh, about a month ago I was up here, roughly three, four weeks ago. Everything looks fine, nothing's changed, no main thing was, no, ero no new erosion to the, to their property, which I'm happy about, so. Well, that's basically it. All right, I think I'm gonna, clean up and maybe get going very, very shortly. I may or may not do one more thing. We'll see. Well, according to the temperature, it's 100 degrees, which is not, it's in the sun. It's about 75, 80 out. A little addition I added to the camp. A couple of magnet hooks. Put the small frying pan, spatula, and a strainer on there. And I added a sticker to the coffee maker. And one last addition for the day. Toilet light. <laughs> Those of you that are interested, thought it would come in handy late at night if I'm here, so I can see what I'm doing. So that's that. Well, I'm gonna be taking off at the end of the day. It's a little after two o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. Thought I'd come up here for the day. Uh, keep keep an eye on things, see what was going on. Haven't been up here in a while. Everything seems to be fine. There's no, no major damage, no damage up here at all, which I'm happy. So I did a few things up here. I moved a few things around, cut the grass. Um, trimmed up a little bit here and there. Uh, made some room over there for the fire pit. I cut some of the ferns out of there because there's no the mosquitoes. So uh, they're just about gone. Very nice day up here. So I'd say last time I was up here, the mosquito, mosquitoes probably a one to 10 being the worst. It was probably a 10. Today, probably a two. Yeah, I mean, they're still somewhat here, but not, not like they were at all. And the bird's nest is gone. I cleaned that up. So, you know, I'm sorry. Sorry it's such a kind of a simple shred video for the day. But I thought 
maybe you guys would want to know what I was doing up here and haven't seen me in about a month. So everybody take care and I'll see you next time I come up here. And thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please. I would appreciate that very much. Thanks. Goodbye, tiny cabin. I'll see you next time.